Okay, so lesson six, classifying polygons. So first we're gonna define polygons and then we're gonna talk about how to classify them. So, a polygon. I'm gonna read this definition kind of word for word and then throw in my own um, explanation of it. So in geometry, a figure that lies in a plane, two-dimensional figure, is called a plane figure. So circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, those are all plane figures. A polygon is a closed plane figure with the following properties. So closed means kind of like, think of it like a fence. Every side is attached to another side. So it is formed by three or more line segments called sides. It's like a triangle has three sides. So the least amount of sides a, a polygon can have is three. Triangle is the least amount of sides a polygon can have. Each side intersects exactly two sides one at each of its endpoints, so that no two sides with a common endpoint are collinear. So each side, when you look at this polygon to the right here, you look at BC, BC connects with AB, Ooh, I'll use a different color for that, connects with AB and DC. So that's why that is a polygon. Each side connects with two other sides, right? So that's important. Each endpoint of a side is called a vertex. Vertex is a point. So in this polygon to the right, A is a vertex, B is a vertex, C, D, and E are all vertices. So we use the word vertices for the plural of vertex. A polygon can be named by listing those vertices in consecutive order. So for this polygon, an easy way to do it, A, B, C, D, E, naming those vertices in order. You could flip that order around and name it E, D, C, B, A. So those are acceptable. But as long as you have those vertices in order as you're following it, that's the important part of naming a polygon. So make sure you're naming those vertices in the correct order. All right. So moving ahead, we talk about convex versus concave polygons. A polygon is convex if no line that contains a side of a polygon, contains a point in the interior. So that's a little bit of an odd um, definition. But the difference for me between convex and concave, convex, you think about it not being kind of dented in, right? If I held that polygon anywhere and I poured some, you think about like pouring water on it, would it hold water? This one, water would shed off of it, okay? If I turned a concave polygon the right way, it would hold water. It's got it, you think of it having a dent in it. So I could draw a line that goes through that polygon and crosses through the interior like that, okay? So that's why that one's concave, the one on the right. So I'll get some examples of that and show you kind of how to classify or how to tell whether it's a polygon and then how to classify convex or concave. So in example one, right off the bat, we're telling whether it's a polygon. And if it is, we're telling whether it's convex or concave. So in part A right here, this is not a polygon. And the reason it's not a polygon is because this side right here, this side intersects and hits one, two, three sides. We said a side has to intersect with only two other sides. That is why that is not a polygon. In part B, this is a polygon. All the sides are line segments, okay? They all, all sides intersect exactly two other sides, and it's closed, so that is a polygon. And this polygon, we would consider it convex, okay? You think of, there's no dent, they think of dents, like caved in. There's nothing caved in in this polygon. That's the best, um, you know, simple way I can explain that, right? Next figure, that is also a polygon. All of its sides are line segments, it's closed, so that one is a polygon. This one is concave. And the reason it's concave, you see this little section right here? I can go through and pass through that polygon and hit it, kind of hit the interior two different, at two different points, okay? So whatever helps you remember convex, concave. I just think of that word cave. It's caved in, right? So. That's how I would describe con a concave polygon. So next, guided practice. Go through it. 
um, see if you can tell whether those are polygons or not, and then if they are, whether they're convex or concave. So pause the video, work through these, and then I'll, I'll explain my, my answers to them. Okay, so to wrap up this video, I'm just showing the first example here, it looks like a home plate. That is a polygon. All the sides are segments. Each side intersects two other sides exactly. And then for that one, it's convex. Okay, that, that's a convex polygon. For the second one, that is not a polygon. And the big main reason why that's not a polygon is that this, we'd consider a side here, that's rounded, okay? You can't have rounded sides, so that's not a polygon. So when we talk about circles and ovals, anything with, a, with curves are not polygons. Polygons have to have line segments as their sides. So you guys are ready to move on to the next step in this lesson.